Yeah, it, it's know. a shonen. It's a shonen anime, so it's kind of hard to beat that in terms of just like popularity. popularity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Jujutsu is too, though. Isn't they're both pretty sure? Oh, I thought, I thought he was talking no, about I'll talk, I'll Jujutsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jujutsu. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless, okay. unless Promise Neverland's a uh, shown in anime. Too, well, right? it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it wasn't showing John. It's in show. It really? It wasn't showing John. I don't know how. But Nobody like, knows how. Oh well, let me change my mind. Let me let me watch it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone, and yeah. welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 13 of the fall 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stratton. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Yo. And finally, we have Taylor. Hi. All right. Um. So last week, we took a break because, you know, holidays, especially Christmas, and also in Japan, a lot of people and companies took a break because of New Year's, so... I don't think we really have any anime news to cover this week. Otherwise, we'll just get it next time. Um, so, yeah, nothing really happened much. Yeah. So we're just going to jump in into Jujutsu Kaisen because this did air on Christmas. So um, okay. this, this one, okay, I need, I need like, I should have took notes because I need to refresh my memory. I, I can't remember. It was, um, it was the last, <laughs> it was the last fight with, uh, with like Yuji and Nanami against, um, the, the Zombie patch, dude. the patchy guy. I don't remember his name. Patches. We're calling patches. Patches. patches yes. Patch. Yeah. yeah. So they finally. So it was like the yeah the conclusion concluding fight between them. So, um, dude, this fucking episode was such a debate. Like, <laughs> did anyone else think that Nanami was gonna die? I thought like, he was gonna die. He set off. He set off so many death flags. This yeah, the show. I like, seriously yeah. thought that he was dead. This this episode. <laughs> And then uh, fucking Yuji came in and saved him at the end, and I was like, "Oh, thank God!" Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Nanami is one of the people I actually don't want to die. There's just too many. He's they're going in his backstory about basically just time, just like a normal day, and then just getting thanked by some bread bread lady, and he's just like, "You know what? I've been thanked. I'm good." I'm like thinking, "Oh my God, please don't don't go out here." Oh man, (laughs) dude, and like the backstory actually, I don't know why, but maybe it's because. You can kind of relate to it as as a as a because we're all nine to five because we're all working right? adults. Yeah, so. right. That's it. It was so good. <laughs> oh man, it was just like a short. It was like a little short bit of a backstory. It's probably one of my favorite backstory of any True. character for some reason. Yeah, and I want to take back what I said about him. How I didn't really care for him as much when he was first introduced, and if he were to die, I wouldn't care. But uh, <laughs> damn it, Sren, now now I have the feelings for the guy, man. I don't want him to die, bro. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know. His character is just like how, just like how he talks. It's just like it's just uh, it seems like one, it would be like one of Sasha's characters, where it's just because like, okay, I'm gonna be done at this time, mm-hmm. and then basically, you know, of course, then there's the whole over oh, the overtime thing, mm-hmm. and just everything about that guy, just like just his character is is just is, he's just too good. Yeah. It's been interesting and fun watching your guys' progression with your feelings towards Nanami this whole time. No, I like especially this guy from the beginning. Hey, yeah, especially beginning. you, Ku. <laughs> I mean, well, because before he was, he wasn't really, I don't know, he wasn't really relatable to me. And then he was kind of just your stereotypical, like, uh like teacher in a sense right like he just needed a tutor and he was like the, he's a level one guy before you had to work with gojo and like reach the next level so usually the the first teachers are kind of just like toss aside once they've taught the the mc uh like all the basics in a sense so that's why i didn't really feel much for the guy but i don't know something about the backstory and the bread lady just just made you feel for the guy you know so i don't know what was the okay what was the i, I need a refresher what was the thing that made him basically go back to being uh uh, uh, a sorcerer, he, basically a sorcerer. He wanted to have purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I like, remember do exactly good. like what made him change, like basically from his work. Yeah, I guess he was just getting uh, sick of ripping people off because he was a mm-hmm. uh, financial consultant. I guess. I think it was like, and then, and he worked yeah, at a he... private equity fund. That, that's it. So he just realized like what he's doing is that like his speech was saying what he's doing is meaningless, but he makes so much money. He makes so much money right. making rich people richer, whereas uh. A bakery worker like she provides so much service to the community but like people don't mm-hmm. like value her work because you don't think of like bakery workers as getting paid as much and so and and like the the one um like 
like the curse, like it was just, it was gonna attack the bakery lady, and so he thought it was gonna be unfair that she had to die. When like when she when he felt like her work was much more valuable than his, so. So good, so simple. Yeah, <laughs> but so effective. It was. Know, yeah. it, was it was so effective. <laughs> and then even like the oh. first time too, where, where he went to go see her, and then just saw like the thing on the shoulder, and she's like, "Eh, she's probably be fine." And right. then, yeah. then, then I remember like the second time he visited, I was like, "I was like, do it, do it, clear it, <laughs> get it off yeah. her shoulder." <laughs> and and then oh. like that actually felt like really uh, kind of satisfying as well. And he just walks mm -hmm. off into the sunset. Yeah. The whole scene, I think, was only like maybe a minute, but yeah, it, it was very impactful. Yeah, yeah it was mm -hmm. very short. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what this is what anime needs to do more often of just more show and not tell. Like they, they yeah, just use that minute and they very effectively showed off his character. Whereas like mm -hmm. lots of other shows struggle with like dragging on like explanations or especially like war dumps or like yeah. flashbacks. Like so, I'm glad they did it this way. Um, yeah. I just, I just. Oh, sorry, uh, I just want to say for like for Yuji, like jumping in, I don't know. Like I, I guess I'm glad they explain. They're trying to go. Yeah, they're trying to make sure they explain all like the different like, like ways to justify it. Because like, it seems like, like a lot of people are are, are like, they're escaping death just barely. It's just that this show, like, I I still believe it, but like I hope like, it doesn't get to a point where I I, I have to suspend my disbelief, where I can't suspend the disbelief anymore just because like. Cause I, so I, I, I like that they say like all the outside is easier to get in than inside, and then like how, I guess like, I mean I guess Sukuna he's like, I don't know he's like the, the, the all powerful being in this world that like just basically like, I I can I can buy that um he's so powerful that like of course he could have advantage over Yuji, but I want later in the show I want to see like more like more consequences of, de of having Sukuna, like well. The the one thing I th kind of thought was bullshit about it, because, like, that one guy, he just learned his, like, dimension deal, and he, like, already kind of, like, mastered it. I was like, dude, that's kind of, like, really fast. I mean, it's, like, it's one of the things where it takes forever to be able to actually, like, kind of master it, but then, of course, being shown in, the guy got it down, like, immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, right there, I, I also kind of just took it off as, like, when uh, when it, when Yuji kind of broke in. I mean, he just learned it, so I assume he was probably weak at some points. And every, but even so, like, with Sukuna, every time I show this man, it's just, like, these badass scenes. Where he just mm -hmm. seems like an overwhelming, like a uh, just like an overwhelming beast. Where uh, yeah, yeah, but... he's like, it was, I don't know. But I, it's I like it so far, like nothing, like usually hasn't had any consequences from using. It. I guess we don't know the pack, so I'm expecting for them to bring up that pack later on to show. I, I want again, I want consequences to these people's actions. So I want, I want to see that he like usually not just getting a freebie, but having Sukuna uh... in him. You know, I'd have to disagree with that. They have been kind of slowly showing like the side effects of having uh, Sukuna inside you. Um, as of right now, uh, yeah, he seems to take a liking to Yuji. That's why he's not just completely like taking control of his body. But Sukuna is kind of slowly getting what he wants from from like this pack that he has with uh, Yuji as well. And we don't even know what pack that he made with Yuji before he actually restored him back to his uh, full form. Because Yuji doesn't remember what the pack was either well that he made. Uh -huh. You guys, sorry, I'm just going to hop in here quick, but you guys did catch when he made that comment about how he wants to get closer to Megami, right? Yeah, I was going to mention that, too. Correct, just yeah. making sure. So, like, yeah. like, it seems like he's more interested in, like, Megami than Yuji right now, but, like, but we didn't, again, I'm saying, like, we didn't see any any consequences for Yuji besides the pack, and we don't know about the pack, so I want, so I hope they bring it up later and not just, like, set it aside. Right, but what I'm saying is I still feel like there is like a still small like consequences for this, even though it's very subtle. I feel like there is, and it's just going to slowly build up once he gets more fingers uh, like ingested. I think it's also going to be harder to control. Super so yeah, well. I'm just saying like it's not right. a problem now. I'm just hoping it doesn't become a problem later. We will see. Yeah. It's yeah. So Although we'll I mean I like that's why it, it was that's why I I like how the story like how like uh, Junpei. Like, they actually, like, they did went off and, like, you know, they, they couldn't, like, find some way to, to save him. Like, he was just, like, just dead. And they didn't try to excuse or try, like, to pull anything off. Like, they they picked, they, they made a decision and they went with it. So that's what I really like about the story so far. Uh, Well, they're, they're still not out of there yet. So I think until they see the nurse or the clean up, uh, they oh, you think still be alive. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't want that to happen. I want... Because it just feels like it just take Wait, away. Who are we talking about right now? I feel like I knew what we were talking about, and I feel like I lost it. Who who might still be there? Junpei. Oh okay. 
Right, because they're still they're still there. Uh, I think I think they're they're going to move on to the uh, the tournament arc next. So odds are very slim that Junpei is still like resurrectable or alive. But uh, they basically just finished the fight and was able to get out of the school area. So I don't know if he's like dead dead yet. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I I don't know. I feel like that's a takeaway from. You're an optimist, Koo, and that's a good thing. I feel like it's no, it, pessimistic. I, I don't <laughs> You're an optimist in this case, though, for whatever it reason. It would just, like, take away <laughs> from, like, Yuji's character development if, like, if, uh, he's, he's, because he's, like, he's in a lot of pain because of his death, so, I don't know. Hmm. I really, I want that to, like, stick with him, so. I really got yeah. nothing else. All right. So. Next week, though, new opening, new ending song. Oh, I'm going to miss the ending. That kind of makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really love the opening and ending. I don't want them to change. Yeah, I like the ending. Yeah. Quite a bit. I want something new. Because you're just a hater. <laughs> God, you're such a hater. I hope so. This is where my pessimistic uh, uh, comes back in. Hey, Probably it not. can still be better, guys. God. No. There's better. no, no, way. no. We reached peak. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hope it's way better. And it's no, no, we we peaked. So, so <laughs> that's that's it for Jitsu Kaisen. Uh, we're going to move on next to Higurashi. And I want to open this with Ku, because we need to get Ku's feeling right out. Just pour it all out, man. Yeah, oh my God. go ahead, Ku. So, fucking <laughs> Higurashi, right? Like, I was like, okay, I'm glad I'm going to be wrong, okay? This is going to be a happy ending. Everything everything is, like, slowly working out for the crew. You know, you have, like, lawyers coming in. You have, like, the, the head council guy, like, able to help out with uh, convincing the, the director of the child protective services building. Um, yeah. There's just so many things working in his favor. And then even the, the grandma, like we mentioned before, like the grandma and the mom, like it's really taking a liking to Keiichi because he's showing such balls, right? Like he has such confidence. He, he's showing like, uh, like teamwork and like village mentality. Uh, so he'll, it looks like he'll be like a good next, uh, like next leader. If like say Mion or Shion like marries a guy and becomes the head of the, uh, uh, Sonozaki family. Um, so yeah, everything was looking great, right? And then they they finally they finally got Oishi to help them out and uh, get uh, go over to the guy's house and get rid of the uncle. And then in the end, it was uh, it was it was it was set enough for them to go into the festival. And like Satoko was getting a shower, she's getting a nice change of clothes. And I thought it was supposed to like represent like a new start, right? New clothes, new start. Because usually shows they don't like change your outfit unless there's like a reason. So she had a new outfit on, and I thought that it was going to uh, like show a new start for her and like Rika and whoever. And then, oh, oh yeah. And then at the end, like I know this is kind of weird, but like Satoko's like, "Hey, you know, thanks for everything. You know, I want to call you my big brother. I, you know, there's something I want to show you back at my house. Do you want to come over?" And Keech is like, "Oh yeah, let's go." You know, and I was like, "Oh my god, there's going to be some some romance going on. Like it's really weird, but it it, it you it's thought there was happen. romance there." I, mean, I don't. I don't it know. It could have went that way uh, with the way anime is written. It went that no way. way. I was That's so weird. It would have been weird. It, it, no, it would. It would have been I, I weird, just, but I would not be surprised yeah. if it happened because anime. Right. Ugh. Anime. Right. And like I said, it was, it was really weird because she was giving him like the big brother title. No, no. And I, I, really, I, yeah. I know what Koo's, I know what Koo's talking about. Like right. I, I but know she, exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, she was showing that 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 kind of like uh like emotional side to him that she doesn't really show often, right? She's always coming off as like a tomboy ish kind of like crude uh, personality mm -hmm. but over here she's kind of like letting her defenses down she's being really sweet so like why else would you invite a guy over to your house like at night time when it's just you two she had uh, to show him something right show him something <laughs> right? sometimes i could just see what you mean girl. right right so anyways i did say it was weird so so hear me out so okay, so this is going to be the good ending, right? Like this is him finishing the arc, and then <laughs> uh, yeah, and then like what, like it, it all just did a complete one eighty when the uh, when he turned on the light and then the uncle came out of nowhere and smacked him in the head, like the sound effect and the, the imagery that you got was just like it it, it threw me in a, like a uh, like a short shock because I didn't expect that to happen, and then like with how it happened too, I was like like holy shit, why is he still here? Like, did he escape somehow? How come, like, Oishi and the others didn't uh, report, like, a missing, uh, like, uh, a missing felon or whatever? 
Yeah, and then he he like he was beating the crap out of Keiichi, and then apparently Keiichi was able to get the other upper hand and like take him back. And then at the very uh, at the end of that, Satoko was able to come back in. She didn't scream for help. She didn't try to help Keiichi. She didn't call the police. And I was like, you know, like what the hell's going on? You know, because I knew Keiichi was going to survive because he always survives these crazy, uh, uh, like uh, altercations. Altercations, right? So I was like, okay, I'm sure he'll 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 be just fine. And then bam, fast forward, there he is in the hospital bed, just fine apparently. And then uh, yeah, he's asking for Uyashi. And then the fucking ending, right? Like it. It made me think that Satoko was kind of in on it. Like, uh, maybe Oishi wasn't really good after all, but he actually let the uncle go to go back and have this like confrontation with uh, with Keiichi because he was like, "Hey, like this is the kid that 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 messed you up." So he was like, like manipulating Satoko to kind of bring him back to the house, and that's why like you know this this all occurred. But then I guess Satoko kind of fucked up too because she went back to the festival acting like nothing happened, and like everyone got shot up but Reina for some reason. And then at the very end, Reyna said this, this the the thing that that made that uh, <laughs> I was feeling as well. Like none of this makes sense. Like why did this happen? None of this makes sense. And then that's where the end of the episode. And I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? Like what what was the point of going through all that? So, <laughs> so that was my like, uh, like my my thing for the show. Like I was just you so holding confused. holding it all in till just now. Yeah, yep. two, weeks, two weeks, guys. I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what, what's going on? Like, did Taylor know this was going to happen? Because that's so fucked up. No, I, I didn't. I didn't know this was going to. Yeah. This is all new. I have no idea. And then I was really hoping there's going to be like a episode six to the arc. But then when I was when I finished watching the the, the end credits, like I saw that there was a different uh, arc, so they're going to move on. But what do you yeah, mean this... you saw that it was a different arc? Like the, the title for the next it's like, episode? It's like sorry, oh, like part oh, okay. one or whatever or something or act one. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't even about, noticed that they've been doing that. Yeah, so it's something about a, a, a cat now. Like, it's not like episode six. It's like cat, deceiving cat part one or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like that's the end of this arc. And I'm just, I'm just so confused, like why they would have an arc like this. But I don't know. That's just me. I agree. I was very confused the whole time. I was like, what are we doing here? I don't know what, what purpose this can serve. I don't know, like... There, there's no way this can end happy, but like I just, I've been very confused the whole time. So I understand how you feel. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't, don't think Satoko was in on it. I like, don't think she was in on it either. So because no. I think you're assuming a lot, Ku, or I don't know. Like, I guess I'm assuming a lot. Like when you say like she didn't like ask like ask for help, I think she was just shocked that like yeah she didn't, I, I thought so she too. didn't expect it to happen. And then she you said she didn't call the police. I think like she she was shocked. She, she panicked. She probably thought like. That's all the the nearest place she could go to to ask for help, and then I'm assuming this, this is my assumption. I'm assuming when Oishi got went crazy and started rampaging, I think he like she just got caught up in it. She probably didn't so she probably didn't have time to warn anyone be, before Oishi went crazy. See, my or she couldn't go to the poli- or she could just couldn't go to the police because Oishi was evil and he was part of the police, and so that wasn't even an option to begin with. See, my argument to that was uh, when she went back. Like there were so many things I hinted that she could have done something differently, but she didn't. Like, the the actions that she chose after all this just doesn't make sense to me, right? Like, if this is your your big brother and then you're, you're feeling such a sentiment towards the guy, you would at least, like, try to rush over to him and say, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm going to call the cops for you. Or she would try to, like, tackle the uncle to, to help out Keiichi, right? Well, I well, think she was she scared. Did was just, like, well, right, right, she was scared, but I would imagine at this point, even if you were scared you would try to do something to help, like assist, like call the cops or go over to them or like I think she go was back just to the scared. festival and tell your friend. In and my then, opinion, oh, go ahead. No, and then uh, like the thing that, that really bothered me was like, she was the one that got shot at the festival too. So if she would have actually run back to the festival and have the other kids help her out, say, hey, like my uncle's back, we need to help Keiichi. Like that would have actually saved all of them because they wouldn't be at the festival, right? So the fact that she was caught up and she also died, I think she was actually part of it too. And she was just trying to cover it up. Wait, she she, she was trying to cover up because she died, or yeah, she was trying to cover up. She didn't say anything, and then that's why she was just act. She was at the festival when she was going crazy and shooting people. Otherwise, if she would have actually tried to get help from people at the festival, she would have been able to bring her friends along and actually save everyone from the shooting. Well, but if they were already at the festival, she was trying to get them to come, and then that's when Oishi saw them and shot them. And that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Killing everyone. Yeah. 
Yeah, but but the thing too is like when she was talking to Reyna or the detective, they didn't mention anything like that. Like, well, no, just I mean, just because she didn't, just because she didn't say it, it meaning like, yeah, we, it didn't right. like well, we don't yeah, have all the details. Is, right, but what I'm saying is the detective and Reyna didn't mention anything. Like, oh, so Tuckle mentioned that her uncle escaped and like, uh, she, she was she was coming to the festival to ask for help because of like she didn't really explain what was going on, you know. I so mean, that's why I we think didn't get that... we didn't get much time with Reyna, and I think Reyna was just more shocked at the fact that that uh, that the events happen. Like I think I mean it could it could like Reyna, like so Toko Kobe in the first one shot. I mean that's why like she didn't have she didn't explain to anyone. I mean she was like you know the just the first one. So I think it, um, it's just a lot of assumptions that we're making right. here. So. No, no. I mean, I, I, like, it, yeah, it is, but it's just based on what what occurred, like what her actions was, and that's why I think it's towards this route, where she was kind of in on it. I don't know. I, I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like it's just she's just more like more scared, and she couldn't really do much in that situation. So. <laughs> I hear your I hear what you're saying, Ku, and I think that like that would be, like that would be fine, and that would be like interesting and all of those things, but I don't. I just don't think that's where the show is at with it. But and I think that for a couple of reasons, which is that that arc is over and they don't really tend to bring in those types of details later on, like not not to that level. Mm -hmm. And so if it's not addressed that way right now, specifically making you think that that's what you're supposed to get away from it, I, I, I don't think that you are. Because I definitely, I'll, I'll, my entire feeling from what happened is exactly what David said, which was just that, like, I mean, that, that whole scene of where she, like, had to react to um, Keiichi being attacked was also not very long. And I think that the anime, in general, has been kind of weird about people's reactions to death and murder. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, like, Keiichi's, like, threatening the grandma to, like, th put her in a, you know, six feet underground and stuff like that, and everybody just laughs, like, that's cool. I mean, I just feel like, in or like even like when when people have died before in other arcs, once Keiichi or somebody else finds out, people are just like, "Oh no, this happened out of nowhere, and I heard nothing, and that's very upsetting." And then it just and then they're just like, "Well, I'm going to go back to work now." That, that's hmm. just been kind of like the, the. I feel like that like the way that they do reactions to those types of scenes hasn't been very realistic up to this point, and so I feel like that's what they did with satoko is fine so that's just that point but then everything with the festival i feel like that's just getting really 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 like nitpicky into the details and like trying to find something that's there is not necessarily there mm -hmm. but i mean i could be wrong i have no idea i mean i, I could be 100 percent wrong mm, i just I but, yeah i just uh, i just don't know you guys did mention too that there was a like an answer arc or... Mm -hmm. There should be. I mean, okay. I would think so. I would think the next 12 or 13 or whatever episodes are going to be answers. Okay. Because I'm hoping that they answer it. Because that's what I want. I, at this point, I want the answer episode just to see what actually yeah. happens. So, so, I mean, I'm uh, so I'm assuming next arc is Rika. And then maybe after that, they do like, do Keiichi and then maybe an answer arc. But the one thing about this arc is that like, we just didn't know anything about the curse. That's like my, my biggest thing is that like, because that's the only thing I'm really interested in in this show i want to know more about the curse because i because i was just thinking like the uncle was the one that was like possessed by the curse that's why he like showed out nowhere but then like having oishi like being the one affected i guess mm -hmm. that's like the only thing we got from like the curse and like the festival and stuff so i hope i hope like the next arc like we're, we're done with like the background and like and the this is the lore i want more of like more of the actual story moving forward like explain what's happening with the curse Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy with that too. Really, just answers in general. It's like Ku said with Reina at the end of the episode. This is making no sense. I mean, that's exactly true. <laughs> but I mean, it really does seem like they're following the same format. Like the very first two seasons, the entire first season was like this. You had no answers. The entire first season of like twenty four episodes, and then the entire like second season was like an answer arc. So it feels to me like this is following that same pattern and just halved. Okay. But they might also very well have like that another Rika arc and another KG arc. So mm -hmm. I don't remember there being a KG arc to begin to begin with. I'm just guessing because like with how much episodes because yeah. the arcs are usually four episodes long. I guess for the last one was five, but they're usually four episodes, and so that's what I'm guessing. But we'll see. Well, but yeah, it was a good episode. I thought it was the best episode of this whole arc. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but still, man, fuck this ending, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I'm so triggered. Oh, God. <laughs> At least there'll be a new episode in a couple days and you can start to forget about that. <laughs> Uh, that's if I survive. My blood pressure. Just think about this episode. My blood pressure shot up. I'm sure. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, and also I, yeah, I just that's, that's... I just want Rika to just like like to actually explain to Eiji what's going on, like throw away throw away the facade and just like actually tell him that I've been like I know I've been through different timelines. I know what's gonna happen. So help me out here, Keiichi, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that would help. So. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. I was that enough yeah, for Higurashi. Yeah, that's for it for. That's it for me. That's that's all Kuka handle from Higurashi for this week. Let's <laughs> save it for later. Yes. Yes. So that's gonna be it for Higurashi, and then um, we're gonna go to uh, Ikebukuro. Let's get. <laughs> Ooh, ho- ho- hopefully, it's another oh, not God. another blood pressure moment for Ku. <laughs> no, I mean Ikebukuro wasn't too bad, but it was just one of those things where it's like, okay, it just. It just happened so fast, you know. Like it didn't. It, it, it to to have this story like done well, it would definitely need more than two episodes. But everything just felt so rush. Like uh, Makoto just happened to know everything. He was able to figure out like who was the bad guy, how it happened. He was able to trap him, figure it, uh, set him up for uh, to be caught out, and then like fix everything like in a in a perfect manner, you mm-hmm. know. So, uh, I don't know. Like, there wasn't even any major confrontations, too. It was just, like, some minor things. Here oh, I don't know, Ku. What about that headbutt near the end there? That was a pretty major confrontation. Uh, that was, like... I mean, <laughs> that I was guess... so bad. I don't even know, dude. That was such an embarrassing... Like, I don't know. I just cringed so hard after that headbutt. See, this is why the show could never have gang violence. Because, like, they cannot animate fighting. At all. <laughs> Yeah, like, there's some of the worst I've seen. Right, and usually with bad animation, you have good writing to back it up, right? Something yeah. to kind of, like, make up for that. But, mm-hmm. no, everything was just kind of, like, subpar, honestly. Yeah. And then, I don't know why I liked the show so much. Like, why I kept watching, <laughs> like, why I kept coming back every week to watch it. It was, like, it was enjoyable to watch, but mm-hmm. there were just so much things that just left you yearning for more or uh, wanting more that, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised I kept coming back. And then, uh, yeah, in the end where, like, Takashi just let that girl stab him to kind of, like, repent for all the problems she's caused her and her brother, I guess. He didn't even cause her any problems. This was all the freaking red whatever they're called from the very beginning. Right. But then, like, dude just stood there and to get stabbed. And he's like, I'll be okay, guys. Don't don't hurt her. (laughs) But if I'm not, take over my role. (laughs) Yeah. Makoto, you got this now. And it's like, okay. And yeah. then, like two seconds later, it, that entire effect is ruined because two seconds later, it's like he turned out okay anyway. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just, just got stabbed. It was, it's okay. like, this fucker has been like almost dead twice in two episodes. So at the end, he's just totally fine. <laughs> oh my god! It was just... yeah. I don't know. It's I. I thought we were gonna get something interesting, uh, and and we did, but it, it totally didn't meet my expectations. It was. Uh, it was kind of a big disappointment, but it was still like enjoyable to watch. I guess I don't know what your thoughts of it were, but um, I mean, I mostly agree. But I think I, I'm coming out of it with a more positive feeling about it than you are. Like, uh-huh. it's not like I loved it or anything, but like I rated it, I think a six on my anime list. Hmm. Um, okay. Which for me tends to be pretty bad, but I can't realistically rate it any higher than that. I enjoyed it, but it, it, it really is subject to like all of the blunders that you mentioned earlier. And like mm-hmm. like you said, like there was so much that Makoto had to do in this one episode that it was it was so rushed and felt so contrived by the end that I was like, mm-hmm. you you could have you you could have worked in some of these plot points throughout the thing. Like at one point he was talking about I mean, all the stuff that he had figured out, I was kind of okay with. How he, like, approached um, the guy, Hane Natsuki, how he approached him, I was okay with. Everything about his plan, I was okay with. It all made sense. And I could accept that he'd figured it out. But the thing I couldn't accept was he'd said something about how he had given Hane Natsuki a gun with fake blood bullets in it at some point or something. <laughs> he shot out like, the guns. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? 
Like, you mean to tell me in that in that in that <laughs> quick instant or like like <laughs> uh, confrontation? So he was talking about in that instant he switched yeah. it. He was able to switch out the gun. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> no way, dude. Oh my god. Okay. And then I thought at, at first I thought that he somehow had body armor, right? Maybe that's why yeah, he that's survived. What I thought too. Why couldn't they just go with that? Yeah, they're like, no, I actually was able to swap out the guns with fake blood bullets because I know because I know a guy. You remember him from episode six? I know a guy who's into like special effects. He was able to give me blood bullets, and that's what really happened. And I had him recorded from like all the way back there, so you didn't see him, even though you suspected me of knowing that you knew that you were the bad guy. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, I don't get it, but it worked, and it turned out it worked. And at the very end, he was so shocked, like, No, no way, like, I, I gotta get out of here. Like, bro, you are surrounded by like hundreds of, of, of guys, there's no way now you're getting away with this. So, I don't know, it was really, it was really dumb. Yeah, it was really yeah. dumb. I couldn't believe I was trying to figure out, I was gonna re rewind, but then uh, Funimation crapped out on me and I forgot to. Oh, but I was yeah. going to rewind and watch that part where he explained the gun thing again because I was like, when was this supposed to have happened? It couldn't have possibly been just now. Yeah, it, it happened during one of the like, if oh you, my if god, you, if you freeze at the right frame, you can see the frame where he swaps it out, right? Get so, out, seriously? <laughs> no, I'm just, oh, okay. no, I'm just. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it, like it was definitely something that happened off screen, so there was no way in hell you could have seen that. Yeah, like seriously, realistically, he had body armor, that's that's what would have worked for me. Um, but yeah, and then, like, dude, and then when they were doing the interview with the uh, the, the leader of the Red Angels, he he had to throw shade at America and and say, you know, if we were like America, we could just use guns and just end it really quickly, but here we're trying to sell it with our fists, like civilized people, and it was like, there's like, are you serious? Like, I, I know he used to live in America, but that was just so effed up. And and then like the next like the the next scene shows him like getting convinced by the the sub leader guy that hey let's all buy guns and and oh like you know how American people love guns you mentioned in the interview yourself you know and then like I'm selling guns to all you kids and like I don't know I, f I feel like they're just throwing a lot of shade at, at America in this episode and then like at the very end of this episode they're just trying to make it seem like you know Ikebukuro was was the best and how the Japan's best place to be all yeah. happy families are moving here this is where right. you can have a good life so I don't know it felt very preachy at, at the very mm -hmm. end but I mean I didn't mind it as much and uh yeah I don't know why I enjoyed it as much I think if I had to give it a grade it'll be like six as well and then for me six is is kind of like like uh, like a d minus right like it's it's passable but but just barely yeah like if you if you can like like look over all these flaws and just enjoy it for what it is i think you'll you'll have a good time but it's yeah uh, it's so ridiculous sometimes i don't know yeah i think my personal enjoyment level of the show is probably more like a seven but I just couldn't put it that way. I don't know. Because I know that eventually, even though I did enjoy it in this moment, if you talk to me about Ikebukuro in like mm -hmm. two like two seasons, I'm going to be like, what? What show was that? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it, it was good while it lasted and I enjoyed it, but it, it just doesn't have that lasting power for all of the issues that it had. Right. I didn't really have so much of, an, of a problem with the way that they brought up gun owner i'll call it just gun ownership in america because mm -hmm. it didn't really feel like it was actually it didn't feel like to me like it was actually slamming on america at that time i mean really it's it's accurate to critique what our laws are and everything and like with how many shootings we have i know that a lot of countries do have a per certain perception and, and everything so i don't mm -hmm. and he, he was from america so he even felt a little bit more qualified to make that comment but then uh, like yeah even still though and he was from Chicago. Yeah, I mean, and I get that's probably like one of the best places to be from if you want to like reiterate that, right? Like how American gangs they just use guns to solve all their problems. But I mean, even still, man, come on now. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that was the last episode, and I'm a little sad about it, but I'll not be sad probably by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm so glad it's over. Now I can stop watching it. Like, oh man, <laughs> I don't know. Like when I finished watching it, I was like, dude, why was I watching this? <laughs> like, like, I don't straight. know. I kept on you thinking know? you were gonna drop it at, at any time each week. I kept thinking this is gonna be the week. No, but because like other than the segments where you know it's gonna be like a two part episode, each episode each week was like a mystery. You didn't know what you're gonna get. Is it gonna be about mm -hmm. some single mother? Is it about like some guy who got like you know like 
got his kneecaps busted by some random dude that was bullied. You know, like you just never knew. Is it yeah. going to be about this Chinese girl and immigration laws? I mean, it, it was it was weird. Like they, 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 the storytelling was done well, but when you try to like piece it together, it mm. was just really weird. I think it was just trying to do a little bit too much of too many things. And so it didn't do any of them well enough. That's mm-hmm. what I think it's really a victim of. Right. But yeah, I don't know. It wasn't bad, especially during the the time of season, like uh, fall. It, it was kind of slow, so I think I think it was it was, it was an, I think the timing too helped it out a lot. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would agree yeah. with that. But yeah, that's all, all right. Got. I think that's all we got. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's I guess the uh, finale. You keep grow Westgate. Uh, um, remember one next to uh, Moriarty. Um, so wrapping up the the train murder, uh, nothing. I guess like the way they set up the mysteries in this show, they don't really like give you like much chance to like to like try to solve things or whatever. Like it didn't really it doesn't really much to solve. It's more about I guess uh, the showdown between like Sherlock and Moriarty. Although I just want I'll uh, like um I'll just say like um I really I liked at the end how uh, Moriarty basically just was willing. He was willing to. To um, is if it's his character, how he's willing to like do what it takes to make sure that, like mm-hmm. he gets what he wants. Like when he was planting the blood on every of mm-hmm. the of the uh, the workers, just to make sure that they were getting caught. I thought it was that was really cool. Like, mm-hmm. I, I thought enjoy- so too. I thought that was a great addition. I I enjoyed that about his character. So that's like the only thing that really caught my eye during the episode. Like everything else is just standard like like mystery. But so I that's all. Mario is still like still my favorite character in the show, and I still I'm not really a fan of Sherlock in this version. Oh. what's the deal with moriarty's brother like why does he like have such a hate on for sherlock i think it's just like did, it's, did i miss something i think it's just like the the feeling of insecurity that like you don't you he's just trying to limit any threat that could that could happen between him and his brother because they've been living you know they've been living a lie like their whole lives and so he's just being cautious oh. and so i can see where he's coming I from right and like it's also I could see it too. I just wasn't sure if I missed something because it just seemed like really intense right here in this episode, kind of out of nowhere. Like I think I think he felt he just it's one of the things like he just wants to get, you just want to get rid of something before it caused too much trouble later. So I think he's thinking that maybe Sherlock would be could some in the future like take down Moriarty. So I think it's just him being cautious. Let's see what else. I mean, they basically had the little bit in the beginning which was kind of cute of them like when they were going to decide if they were going to let Moriarty get involved with this with this game and I, I liked all the little arguing that happened at the beginning there as they like ironed out the rules of figuring this out and then I kind of tuned out for a lot of the episode when they were putting it together like you know because like it, it's not that it was bad but it's like you said it was just you know it's standard sta- mystery it's, stuff it's standard and like it, it didn't really give you a chance mm-hmm. to like try no. solving and like and like like because like the victims and the murderers like didn't matter <laughs> so like they weren't yeah. relevant to like to sherlock or moriarty or like mm-hmm. yeah nothing of importance was was placed on this case yeah so yeah the only thing so i don't know yeah. i just felt like the finisher to like the last week's episode which last week's episode was so much better <laughs> yeah so and also uh because they're taking a break next season and going and continuing in the spring, so let's wait mm-hmm. a while to see what happens. Um, I don't know. Overall, like I still enjoy this show. I I thought the because I I thought the first episode was okay, but like just the flashbacks with Moriarty re- maybe really interested in his character, and then and so far I'm only interested when Moriarty is in here. I don't yeah, like I said, I don't really care about this version of Sherlock. So I'm still looking forward to what? the rest of the show, but. One thing I really like about Moriarty, because I agree with you, I think Moriarty's my my favorite character in this show. Like, I really like Sherlock, too. I have no issues with his character. But I just, there's something about the way Moriarty presents himself that I find pretty pleasant. And I, I, I like his methods of accomplishing his means. So I just respect him as a character. I mean, I guess it kind of follows the same line of, like, if we were to compare it to Death Note, I was always slightly more on light side than L side, even though, like, L is actually correctly following the law it's kind of the same thing here right like where i kind of like moriarty more he's willing to bend the rules and i also like how he interacts with sherlock as well like how he actually has respect for him and and stuff like that i just i'm not really 100 percent sure but it seems like from other sherlock 
things that have been done in the past, that's not the case. So I was expecting it to be I, a little bit more antagonistic no. going in. Yeah, me neither. So, but the only thing is that like, I uh, this is a, this is a, this is a, a nitpicky thing, but like I really don't like it when Sherlock calls him Liam because it's such a Japanese thing mm-hmm. to do. It's like do not to, like shorten things but not know like. I don't know. Just him calling Liam just threw me off so much in this episode. Like I did not like. That's just a nitpick of mine. It just it just feels wrong. It kind of right? threw me off for a second too because I didn't even realize who he was talking about it for a second. Threw me like, off. Does it like translate as a nickname for me? <laughs> so because like... like because they're using I don't know, I don't know why they thought they thought using the last part of the name is a good nickname yeah. or whatever. But that's again that's just me nitpicking, but. I could see uh, that as a nitpick, or even yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird choice. Yeah. So uh, otherwise, I don't really know where where, the, where they're going with the story because I don't know because I don't remember the original. I don't know what happens in the original Sherlock Holmes if like if this will see to some sort of grand battle with like Moriarty and Sherlock. I don't know. I have, or, no, I I don't, have no idea. Or if there's gonna be some sort of like organization. Actually, no. They did mention. I just remember they did mention the last scene with the Queen. Like the the royal documents are missing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got it, so forgot. I guess that's like the next big thing. It's just like it's them. It's those two like figuring out what's happening with like the royal documents, whatever. So I guess that's like the big thing. I was thinking like if there's gonna be some other organization that gets in the way, but like or there's that was le- so funny at the end where she was just like these papers have the secret that all of London or all all of the, all of England would want to know these are the most secretive papers ever and I was just like oh my god this show is so like cartoonish with some of the bad guys <laughs> like that literally seemed like a scene from a Disney movie to me yeah so yeah so that's but, why like, I didn't really pay attention much of that I'm just here for more already so yeah well we'll see where it goes so hopefully yeah I'm hoping it'll be I guess I want them to lean more on the mystery side because I always enjoy that about shows. I want to... I mean, they, they haven't really done that much this, this show, so I guess I shouldn't expect much of it. So, woo. Yeah, I don't think they will. That's not the vibe that I get. Yeah, it seems more of just showing off for already. Or him showing bending the rules, trying to change the side the way he wants to. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot of room for, like, the user trying to make guesses. I mean, because I know what you're talking about. I've seen shows that have that element, but... I... And I think that actually could have been good for this one, too. But maybe they try to avoid it because they're supposed to be so smart. Like, maybe we shouldn't be able to figure it out. Or even bother trying to guess. I, th- I think it's because, like, Sherlock's and Soul were done. That, like, they're trying to do, like, more of this other angle to the story. Mm-hmm. Could be. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. April is when I yeah I saw that it comes back in April, like you said. So yeah, but not I'm too s- terribly long of a wait. I'm still enjoying the show. So so like I think people, if you like mystery or even like I don't know what, how else to describe this show. Like the way that that yeah the Moriarty is supposed to be like the kind of character he is, but I don't know like the word to describe that kind of character. But like I mean I know there's definitely people who enjoy enjoy. Moriarty or morally just, ambiguous is that yeah. what you're looking for kind of like that yeah. yeah so if you enjoy these kind of characters like I definitely recommend the show because it's been doing it's it's pretty good for what I've seen this season so I do feel like this is a show where I can pretty solidly say that if somebody were to give it three uh, three episodes they'd be able to decide oh, yeah. if well, they like it definitely like the the flashbacks because I don't, I don't like the first mm-hmm. episode was strong enough but the flashback no when they were a kid was like yep. was was what hooked me me too. So I think if you if people like the first three episodes, they should keep watching it. But, and if nothing about it appealed to them, probably drop it because I mean yeah. it's really just a lot of that feeling. I mean, but then again, that's like that's why like the three episode rule is it exists in anime usually. So that's why I usually go by two. So I need I need to do more of it because yeah. I I haven't lately. <laughs> Me too. So, but anyways, I think that's yeah. it for yeah, so, Moriarty, right? Yeah, that's it for Moriarty. So that's basically like the first part, and then we'll have to wait for spring for the next part. And then I guess we went a little bit just for um, Taylor. You want to mention uh, Adachi Toshimamura? Oh yeah, so Adachi Toshimamura. I've mentioned it a couple times this season, but it's basically about these high school girls who become friends. One of them becomes romantically interested in the other. Uh, the other one, I don't even think knows what romance is, so it's definitely one-sided at this point. And then there's also an astronaut girl in the show. 
I don't know why. I never knew why. It was never said why. There's just an ast. Not sorry. It's not even an astronaut. It's an alien, but she oh. wears an astronaut suit. Okay. So that there as well. And I was really looking forward to a time when that would tie in in any conceivable way possible. Because everything else about the show was a slice of life and slow and boring as it could possibly be, but with a cute alien. So yeah, okay. And then. It wrapped up and nothing had happened. There was not really any development and nothing really changed through the whole season. They were friends in the beginning and one was romantically interested in the other and it was exactly the same by the end. They were just maybe slightly closer friends. Um, I have no idea what the novel light novels are like in comparison to this because it, it seems so slow and annoying. I can't imagine that. Like, I just can't imagine where yeah. she's, what point she's trying to make or where she's going. Dang. So probably even slower than light novel too. Then so yeah, and it's too bad because it's like the characters are likable. It's just that she's given them nothing to react to. Like nothing happens in their lives, and there's nothing that like moves a plot forward or, or anything. It's literally like everything that happened this entire season could have happened in one day. So I, I rated this one a five. Okay. And I really felt bad about it. Like it was so pretty, and I I really wanted to like it, but I just it, yeah, it's a five. And that's Idachi Toshimimura. Yeah, they they got me with the artwork too, but it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it was uh, tough. Yeah. I mean, it was better than Noblesse, which I dropped. But oh really? Much. Oh okay. I think I dropped Noblesse like two weeks after you. Oh okay, gotcha. Yep, uh, you can't fix a show like that, unfortunately. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I guess yeah. So I guess that's gonna wrap up just um just the current season. Um, so we still have Jujutsu Kaisen and Higurashi, uh, continue on for winter, and then yeah, we got uh we're already taking a break for April, for spring or April, and so um we're just gonna um uh, transition next to just um kind of a short preview or what's we're interested in watching for winter season. Um, there's a lot because there's a lot of shows that we're uh, that we're all interested in, and there's a lot of sequels happening too. So I guess, um, like, it, like it's good for the fans, but like if you haven't watched it, you should probably catch up or something. Yeah. So I mentioned the ongoing shows, and then really quick, David, uh, yeah. Brian will be jumping in too. Oh, was he? Minute, okay. Uh, so we can, yep. Okay. We're jumping in to talk about the shows. Um, okay. and we're going to be talking about this season. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. All right. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, so oh, wait. Right. Hi, oh, Brian. Brian. We're just talking about um, what we're interested in watching next. Do you have any particular shows for... you want to watch for the winter season? Winter? Yes. Yep, for the winter season. Honestly, I think this is my most packed season I've ever uh -huh. had in a very long time. Same. Mm -hmm. I think it's for all of us. I think it's going to be for a lot of people. Yep. Mm -hmm. We've got work to do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so I already, uh, Brian already mentioned that, yeah, Ajutsu Kaisen is continuing on from fall. And then, and then for us, also, we've got Higurashi also continuing. Um, the big one is going to be Promise Neverland Season 2. And that airs, sure. th that airs this Thursday, I think. Yeah. Is everybody watching that besides me? You're not watching it? No, I never watched the first Oh season. my gosh, okay. Cause he'll be yeah, I, ne I never saw yeah. it either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. No. So, it's okay. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> and me, Thread, we got we'll monitor, this, We'll monitor stuff, yeah. we'll ask questions and stuff. Uh, you know, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll get through it. Okay, so I guess... We're, uh, we're, living, we're living through the experience with you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Through you. Which so, whatever. Okay, anyways. So, I guess I'll just a short... I guess I'll give a short... Summary of the last season, or or should I? Because I felt like I, I think it's a spoiler for season one. Nah, I don't think it is. I will worry about but, it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're we're it's gonna be like the second most I think the the second most probably hype show for next for this season. Include that's uh you know including with uh, Attack on Titan being number one. I'm gonna guess Promise Neverland is gonna be number two. Oh, I don't I think know, man. Good. I feel I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen took that number two. Spot. No, 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 sorry. No. I mean, like, of the new shows coming in. I mean, I'm sure oh. there's a lot of people that are hyped for Jujutsu Kaisen, but I just mean, like, the new shows that are coming in for next season. I think yeah. uh, Promise Neverland is going to be up there because I know a lot of people. I Whoever think Promise Neverland is. The show. Yeah, I think it's still higher than Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen to be honest. It's... Ooh. Non I, no idea. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? You don't think people are more hyped for Promise Neverland? 
Well, I've never seen it, and I'm not happy to see it. So, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, on me. I do think that it does have a smaller, um, like a smaller audience. So I, I suppose that could be true. Even though the hype might be stronger for that smaller audience, it's still smaller. I, I mean, mainly, mainly uh, because it, yeah, it, uh, it's a shonen. It's a shonen anime, so it's kind of hard to beat that in terms of just like popularity. Popularity. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Jujutsu is too, though. Aren't they? Isn't they're both? Sure. Oh, I thought, I thought he was talking no, about. I'll talk about Jujutsu. Yeah, he's talking about Jujutsu. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless, okay. unless okay. Promise Neverland's a shonen anime too. Well, right? it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't showing jump. It's in show. It wasn't showing it jump. It it show, really? It's it's in, it it wasn't showing jump. I don't know how. But Nobody like, knows how. Oh well, let me change my mind. Let me let me watch it real quick. What kind of shonen anime is called Promise Neverland? What? Oh, I, hey, I, I, I mean, no just because it's called Shonen, yeah. it, it's called Shonen because that's the name of the magazine that it appears in. Usually, yeah. not not because the actual category is like what mm-hmm. is typical for Shonen, like the stereotypical Shonen audience. So, oh, all right. I mean, I'm just just, just like how like flying. just like how Death Note was right. in Shonen Jump, but I don't think you would call it Shonen. So. Mm. Sure. All right, yeah, so that's Promise Neverland. Sure. <laughs> um, and then next big one. At least for me and Koo is ReZero Part Two. Oh yeah, God, you have no cool. idea, no idea. Oh, sorry, you joining us this time oh, too. God. For yeah, I'll be joining. I think we're all watching it now, right? I'll be, I'll be joining you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Yay! So you can also Everyone enjoy the, the cliffhangers every week. The only person I don't believe is watching is Sasha, but I think Ju- I'm pretty sure Justin's watching it. So he'll 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 or Killjoy. So he'll be talking with us. Um, the week he's available. Yeah, uh, and that airs this Wednesday, so I think it's like the first show that's gonna be airing for the winter season. So Ku is definitely sounds like the most hyped for this show. I'm hyped is too. Else hyped? Yeah, I'm hyped. Okay, David. All right, all right, fine. Dude, David. me and Ku, right, man, right. we suffered a lot through that that first twelve yeah, weeks. Yeah, I know. I listened to you guys. I'm like, ha, good thing I'm just gonna wait till the end. New ball I, I had no idea, no idea I was gonna watch it at the end, but you know, Brian, what were your thoughts by the end of it? Are you hyped? Um. I just think, personally, I think the first season was better. Yes, me too. Thank God. Thank really? you, Brian. You know why? <laughs> uh, just for me. It was just because, like, the thing and is, me. Like, for me, personally, I think the first season was better simply because, like, the shock factor. Like, oh. I came in not expecting what I was going to watch. Hmm. And then all this stuff just starts hitting the fan super hard. I'm like, oh, my God. And then season two, I was like, oh, I can kind of expect things to happen. And at that point, I'm just like... I wonder when he's gonna die. Like, well, there's no like really big shock factor for me, you know. The, right. the thing with though, it felt like it progressed though too. Like this, it feels uh, like it's been kind of sputtering in place. Yeah, I feel like there's been okay, no that's, progression. That's, like, that's, that's like a big. In. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a big thing. Point it back, but for me, I just enjoy season two more because it was more of the lore, more more lore, yeah, more exposition. Oh, yeah. So I because yeah. these are like more of the answers I want to know. I want to know more about the witches, and I was we're slowly See, getting get into that. So yeah. I think I wanted to know more about that too, so I agree with you, and I think it's good that they did have that in the second season. But I, I don't know, like as a, as a female viewer who doesn't really give too too much too much of a, of a who isn't get, who doesn't get too excited about the thought of watching something that might be like a harem, I um a regular harem. No, 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 <laughs> I mean, harem, yeah. I don't care about that well, either. I but felt like it was going to be like that though, because like you okay okay you have Amelia who likes him, you have Rem who likes him, then you have um the. I already forgot her name, but oh, Amelia's Jesus. evil twin sister. Echidna. Oh, no, that one. No. Echidna. Um, a kid, not a kid. Well, and the other what? white-haired one that has Amelia's voice actress. This, this, her name starts with an S. I can't remember. Also, Talia. Talia. Yeah, Tatalia, yeah, yeah. So, so she's in love with him. Um, Echidna's probably not in love with him. I mean, she's a complete sociopath, but she's as close to in love with him as she can be. And then they introduced all of these other people who are now also female. So it just kind of started to feel like, okay, is this just like a harem? And, and I'm still like a little bit worried about that, and that's why I kind of peeked through the light novel to see because I was ready ready to drop it super fast. But I've, I've never gotten like harm vibes just because this is. Like, well, I yeah, never did never. either, but really, because, because it literally is kind of a harm, harm, harm. huh? Just because there's a lot of chicks doesn't mean it's a harm. Yeah, that's no, actually it actually literally is kind of a harm because they actually do like him. There's only like two or three at most that's into the guy. That's yeah, still a harm. Yeah. Closer to the triangle. Uh, yeah. Well, and it's also the way they love him. Like it's like Rem who thinks he's per 
whatever. It, it's also like the way they love him. Like, it's just so, I don't know. It's so uncomfortable for me. And it really stands out like not uncomfortable, but it just stands out and is annoying. Cause I like Subaru a lot as a character, but I definitely would not be one of those girls coming on. To him. Like he's an idiot. I really don't get those vibes like much in the show though. Like I really don't consider this like a, like, a, like, like any kind of like romance. Any of the liking, maybe it's because like there was so little of it, like this second season. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, maybe that's why. Maybe because there was no rem. That's also why the season. Dude, there's none of that in the first season too. The only one that had like, like significant showings of of love would be rem, and that's it. Yeah, and it was first, completely first one. Was and it was completely one sided. Yeah, first one-sided. season was fine. I completely agree with you. That's why I liked first season way more. And in season two, there's even like none of that, like other than Rem, but then she died episode one, so you didn't get that at all. Sure, there is. You literally have the episode of Satella saying "I love you" over and over and over again, and that's, then Amelia definitely well, got way closer to this were... season. I mean, that was in season one too, uh, like wasn't it? Or like her saying "I love you" and "I love you, I love you" like, over and over again. That was new information for me. I like, feel like that was part of her 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 trait as well. Though I don't know if that was. I don't know. I have it, no idea. I'm so confused yeah. about what her. I mean, we don't know. Her yeah, but that's that's why, like, I want, like, I mean, just the revelation of Satalia, just interesting more of her. Like, that's why I was interested in season two because we're getting more of the lore and mm. like trying to, yeah. I mean, trying to get more answers, we're getting more questions too. So, yeah. The yeah. more we talk about the show, the more it just sounds like it's, it blows. <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it doesn't it's okay it does no. not blow like part, part one did blow let me tell you that right now part one blew so hard oh my god you're talking about the no first part of the second season right yeah yeah yeah, okay, okay. yeah. it blew so hard why are you like... laughing what happened no, i was just laughing because it's trends comment it's like what are we talking about this soldier sounds like a fucking suck yeah, and like it just sounds like it's worse and worse. Like it's more like when we talk about it, like actually talk about it, it just sounds terrible. You know? No, yeah, no, no, it's not terrible. Like to add on to that, it's like when Ku said like the first part of the second season, like it felt like it was really bad. That also left like a pretty bad taste in my mouth because like it's like the first season, I was like, dude, this show is amazing, and then the first part of the second season, I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Right. So, oh, like, see? so that, that for me, that's why personally I think season one was better as so far. So I'll see how it picks up for me. Damn. So I guess I'm like the only one that really enjoyed this this second season. Yeah. Well, I might I might look back on it more fondly. I was like, cause like what I was talking about earlier wasn't my like review of the season. I'm not saying that I think this show is a harem or anything like that. But there was a period of time in the like the middle part of this season where. Or, season two part one where i was just kind of worried that it was going that direction and in my i just felt anxious like i was just scared that that's where it was going to go i'm not saying that that's where it's at and i do like the fact that they are going into the lore more i just think that they could stand to make it more interesting how they get there that's really my only argument with that i don't know yeah my, my complaint was they just threw too much at you there's there's no closure whatsoever there's just too much yeah. going on there is uh, too much going on and I think... the fact that it's a two-parter, I, it feels like, I think, I want to say this second season would have been perfect if they would have just done, like, all 24, 26 yeah. episodes. I Definitely. Watched, right? Not yeah. leaving you, like, at this point where they, like, where they left off. Yeah. Definitely. I, that's, that's my only, I think, I think, that's that's what, I think that's what we said, too, uh, but at the end of the season when we were giving a review mm-hmm. as well. I think that's what we mm-hmm. saw. I think I thought they really left up was a terrible part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I mean, yeah, like it was. Point. Yeah. It was just, I, because I think it was down. meant to be like full 24, not like not have split. Yeah. So that guy yeah. he became friends good. with in the end there, that guy's name was Otto, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Bad so, so I, I like him. He's great. But yeah. So yeah. I guess I'm still the only one to enjoy season. Although I, I did think the ending, like it, like it did, um, what, like, lose quality at the ending or whatever so i was really enjoying it until yeah the ending but mm-hmm. i think i still i'll probably i was probably the only one that really enjoyed season two so far but but we'll see what happens I mean, part two yeah okay. yeah we'll see yeah part two all right are we done yeah and that's yeah. that's free zero uh oh. next big one is log horizon season three so Yay! finally okay did anyone like binge watch season one and two like, no, I, I, no, how many I, is that? I forgot. It's like twenty six. It like twenty four. Yeah. No, is it six? No, there's two seasons of twenty four each. Are they twenty four oh, each? Oh my god! I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought they're twelve yeah, each. They're huge. So. No, cool. I I tried. I got through the first six episodes. 
Hmm. Good season one. There, is there like a recap movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. Oh man. How can you learn from Who's Mistake, Brian? Recap movies don't work. Yeah, they really don't, don't work. No, 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 I'm not gonna lie. It, We've already seen it. That's it. So it's beneficial yeah. in a sense. Okay, it'll, that's, fair, it'll that's fair. Yeah, it'll remind us of what happened. Mm. I so, think. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed this show, but the only thing I can remember is <laughs> the guy named Krusty. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Wait, what? That's yeah. it? Uh, oh, okay. yeah, pretty much. Like, I remember like things that happened. It's just the main thing that stands out to me is the guy named Krusty. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Who's Krusty? He was a he was like the the warrior and paladin looking dude, and he was like ahead of he was his like own guild. he was some other like, yeah DVD. part of other guild. He was like he was one of the, I think one of the leaders or something. God, I, I, don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, don't know. I think he was the guy that got transported to the China server too, right? And met up with the. Uh, Oh, is that the, what happened? The female brawler. Okay, I didn't know they yeah, got transported. I, I, I remember like people Wait, were disappearing. What? I didn't know they got transported. Is yeah, that what so, happened? Yeah, so oh, oh fuck, that's spoiler for screwed. Taylor. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly what happens, and at the end of season two, like they ended in a weird spot, I thought. But basically, they're starting to slowly introduce uh, the 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 female brawler, which was apparently the inspiration for uh, the MC. And uh, yeah, apparently there was a giant fight with the night hat, and he got. I thought he died because he got like, like, I don't know what happened. But there was this scythe that was like just spinning in a circle and just like uh, like obliterated the guy, and I think it left his arm. But then, like at the end of the the season, uh, when he when the MC was making contact with the uh, the, the Chinese or or the, the female brawler, uh, apparently Krusty came on too and said, "Hey, how are you guys doing?" So he was actually transported to the Chinese okay. server. So. I don't remember that part. Did you, yeah. did you just watch this again, or what? No, that's just what I remember because it left yeah. in a really weird spot. <laughs> was I it? Don't a, even remember the ending. Was it the Chinese server or the American server? I thought you I, was in the American it was server. Chinese. I I remember it was. Okay, it was Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, I remember okay. it was Chinese server. Yeah, Americans okay. suck. <laughs> Dude, Dude, but then, I... but then they had the, the the Ninja Turtle guy, like part of the the Chinese server team too. I thought he was pretty funny. But. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, I don't know even what you guys are talking about. Uh, so we'll see. I'm I'm really hoping they have uh, a recap episode because I'm not rewatching. They're not gonna episode. have one. Oh, <laughs> like okay, um, like oh, yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Like the shows that you want it ha- to have, trying it never has it. Yeah. So well, don't. I'm, gonna I'm sure they'll have something on YouTube, won't they? Yeah, no I way. literally just looked it up, and yeah. there's a few, like, Ooh. season one and two recaps. So. All right, I'd rather, I'd rather just see that then. <laughs> I, I may do that. We'll see. Yeah. Way, way better. But all I know is this, this was, like, a really good Isekai. Like, 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 one of the better ones, even though I don't yeah. remember. Although... I, I, I flew through it so much, the only thing I remember is about something about a bard. Because it pissed you off. I hated that yeah. bard. Well, because I mean, uh, Justin <laughs> earlier mentioned, too, how he didn't like season two, and, like... I think for me, I I agree that season two like lost focus. Like it like strayed away from like more like the the guild side, and tried to do too, too much of like the trying to explain what happens when you die and stuff. So, and also like the, the kids too. Like the kid the, the kids arc like just dragged on. So oh, I, I I hope they never speak about the kids again. <laughs> That's all. Uh yeah. So just recap the whole thing. Is I'm like, hope, and they survive. I want more of just the classic like MMO like just. You know, like just raids, just have the communication, have like the team fights. I hope we get more of that, but it seems like they're gonna do more of like the story side. So we'll I mean, see. I mean, world building's fine. I actually was very interested in the. World I mean, I was interested building. too. I yeah. just hope, I hope there's just like just classic MMO like, like fights. Yeah. But every time like you feel like like the world building, like they can't like do any more than that. They show. It seems like like there's kind of like wasn't there that one? Things we wouldn't think about. Like wasn't there that one raid where there's like there's like three raid bosses showed up all of a sudden? Like, sure. Yep. Yeah. So I want I want to see more of that. Dude, what the? Dude, I'm so screwed. Shit. You guys yeah. remember any of that, dude? They I, had a I flew, like. Okay, it was like so yeah. both seasons were done for me at the time. I binged dude. all of both seasons like in a week, and it's not even that. I don't remember any. Like it was it went so fast. Why do I get the feeling that when we start watching the show, I'm going to be the only guy that remembers things that happen? I like, think you're going to be the only one who remembers it. I, I feel it was like Brian while. will pick it up, too. I feel like Brian will actually like watch like the recap stuff. Me, possibly. We'll see. Yeah. But, oh, oh, man. I don't know. My, my, my fear is, is like, it's, since it's been so long, I hope it wasn't as bad. Like, it wasn't bad, but since it was like new to us, like a new genre in a sense, that we thought it was like amazing, right? And then I'm going to start watching season three, 
and then you know episodes one two three True. goes by and then you're like man this show sucks why why am i watching this why do i, I don't like this so much well, we... i don't think it's because, like that because people are actually people actually like this show like they don't have too many haters when you have sword art who like there's like a you know, small like really tense group that like it there's a lot of haters you say small uh, trying it's still a really popular show yeah there's a lot yeah, of fans of sword art yeah i suppose okay and that's why prediction I people... for the show real quick. I feel a Game of Thrones vibe coming what from this the, third season. In the Log Horizon? Yes. Okay. Mm. Like yeah. there's gonna be betrayal, not like the crazy shit, but like big time betrayals or something. Well, I don't know, because when you die you revive. You you, yeah, but you lose your, lose your memory. memory. Yeah, but but you lose memories though. Well yeah, actually no, we memories are the MC. listen, yeah. memories are the most sacred thing ever, okay? You think you would have your childhood without memories, Stratton? Yeah, I I'm rest old. my I, case. I, I forgot. I so mean, much my besides, I, I mean, exactly. I, all your childhood was World of Warcraft, so. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank I you. mean, yeah, other betrayals too, here, aren't we? Other betrayals too, strange. You could steal, like, their loot or their gold or, like, do something to fuck up, like, their, their headquarters, too. Oh, so. yeah. I suppose, yeah. There's other ways you can fuck people up besides just killing them. Yeah, because I forgot that they got, like, really heavy into, like, was it basically government, like, was it government stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, uh, and, yeah, all, the th all those things. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Never mind. I track my statement. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you got me, man. All right. All right. All right. And, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll log right. It doesn't air till next week, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer. I think it airs next week, Wednesday. So we'll have to wait till then. So the first episode, yeah, the first, uh, episode of the next podcast, next week's podcast, we won't be talking about Log Horizon because it won't be airing by then. Hmm. Yeah, we'll talk about whatever's airing at the week. Yep. And we'll continue. So. Playing. Yeah, so I think that yeah, so that's our segment for Log Horizon, and then the next one is Doctor Stone season two. This also airs next week, so we won't be able to talk about it next week as well. But um, oh jeez, yeah. But this. I don't even know how, how much it. Uh, I mean, basically, like um, last season it was building up to the who was the villain's name? Sakasa was that his name? Sakasa, maybe. I think so. Sakasa, right. yeah. Like so, basically, one. like uh. What was it like? Oh my god, who who's the main character? Oh my god, why am I making his name? Senku. Senku, yes, yeah, Senku. He basically built the, the the cell phone, and he he like he united the village, and now it, yeah, to finally get ready to fight the war against the Kasa. So, Baby. Yeah. but the thing is like Pop I do, off. the thing is like I don't like it when when there's like fighting and action in Doctor Stone. I think it's just I don't know it just doesn't do as well as like the the science. So. I still want to see how it happens, though. I'm interested. So we'll see. We'll see how the the, the war goes. I hope it's not Listen, just too much, David, too much shonen. I don't know about you, but I'm really interested to see how this genius is gonna beat a guy that literally punched a tiger. Lion was it? Lion. Tiger or lion? A lion? cat. Okay. A big cat. Lion. Yeah. A, yeah. Okay. Something <laughs> very not big cat. Humanly possible. This dude is strong. Like, equate this like Dragon Ball levels. This dude is like a god. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Not wrong. Yeah, not wrong. Well, yeah. except I still think he would. I don't think he can take a bullet. I think he'd. I think he'd be. Uh, I think it'd be GG for him. Dude, this dude's like reflexes are faster than lightning itself. I yeah, swear I know. To God. Yeah, some of these things are too shonen. But, but anyways. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that's all. I don't want to get too shonen. Like, I want. I want the main focus to be the science. So. True. We'll see. And also, right, we we have we time. have um his best friend and and the girlfriend like being spies but i think i'm pretty whoa, sure whoa, whoa whoa they're they're not official are they no not yet well not yet okay. right, I'm just gonna assume well he, so. he confessed well, to her no, but no, they're not he confessed to her but she, she, he was saying like uh yeah, wait yeah, until yeah. we're safe or whatever before you answer me that's but, dumb. but that's such a dumb i just call them a couple <laughs> you know but, I just call, yeah, just so so they're the spies right now but i'm hoping they don't get captured and become hostages because that would just, i think that would just get annoying so. I mean, it would make sense. It I would. Guess. Yeah. I mean, they're behind enemy lines, and they kind of already know. So. Right. <laughs> so we'll see. And then, actually, I don't know how if this is supposed to be because season one was like twenty four episodes, so I don't know if this is also twenty four and it's gonna go on. Dude, I would hope so. Spring like, season. Why did yeah. you make it like half that? I don't know. Budgets, but budget cut. It's happened before. Oh, it hasn't been announced yet. Yeah, it's happened before, so we'll see. I'm just gonna assume it, it, it being shown, it'll be 24. I hope so. Yeah. Well, so, that's it. But yeah, so still excited for Doctor Stone season two. 
And then oh, yeah. next show, um, so our first isekai, the slime show, um, season two, part one. This one's being sp- split because we have part one winter, and then we have the, the spin off next in spring, and then we have part two in the summer. What are they spinning off? I don't know. I didn't look into it. It's just it's just a spin off or some side story or whatever. It's not. Dude, what if what if the maybe it's not canon? What? What if about the beast ass goblin that he was just like useless? You know, when he leveled up, he looked exactly the same. Like nothing changed about him. But he's just a beast because he got trained by what was it like the the was he got did he get trained by the wolf? What did he get trained by? I barely remember anything. Trained by like the one of the one of the 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 demon people. Okay, yeah, he got trained by the old guy. What if the spinoff is about him? I would watch that. Yeah, that'd be dope. It would be because when he started busting out his moves, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know. The, the funny thing, like the good thing about a joke character is that they're a joke character, right? If you make them like the main point of focus, I don't know how you kind of lose his like niche in a sense. That makes well, so maybe the spinoff can just be a comedy then. I don't know. Yeah, I'll take comedy. <sighs> I I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about the spinoff, so well, I'm just waiting to see. Anyway, yeah, but going back to reincarnated, like the, like the main show, I still think it's people love this show, and I I mean I like I think it's fine, but I definitely think it's overrated. Uh, I'm surprised to hear you say that, sir. I thought you would really enjoy this show. Yeah. Wait, I thought you liked this show. What I do, the... I do like, the, I do but, like the show. But I'm surprised, I'm surprised I, to I hear you say it's overrated. Ah, so I what I understand is you were ahead of its time, and now that it's up there, you don't like it. Got no, it. Oh, it's too mainstream. I got you. I know. <laughs> I'm saying like, I, like it was still like, I, like it was like a, it's a good show. Like it's it's fun, especially with a lot of the other garbage isekais that we've had to watch. Like, uh, I mean, this one is, per- this one, I, I mean, it's fine. But it, it, it's just the amount of people who, like, it, it sounds like, I don't know, the hype is just a, a, a lot. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, surp- yeah, I'm surprised there's hype for, like, this specific isekai. Like, yeah, because I don't yeah. really see anything special with it. It seems like every other isekai. Dude, because every time. I, I Honestly, I think it's because, like, the, like the slime aspect to it is very like interesting and cool i, I guess you know, but like, he's, like, he's, he's, he's still he's like, still he's, he's still op though there's so there's so many o- isekais with a lot of op characters so i don't know why being yeah, a slime would make it any but, different i thought so too but there are people that can basically destroy him at this point i guess like that was it like the, the six what were, what were they called what's that like the little chick supposed to be she's right? like part like the six cool. demons or something like not demon yeah, lords yeah, yeah, crazy the demon. Six, yeah the six demon yeah lords. basically oh, she can destroy six him demons, yeah yeah but I, I, I kind of didn't really like the thing where they just be, kind of become friends and then that's how he kind of escapes death in a sense. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I just kind of continue with that. Yeah. So uh, I mean, like, I enjoyed. I just enjoyed watching the show. Like, I didn't really think too much about it. It's yeah. just another isekai yeah. that 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 was actually enjoyable. But I don't. The bar is so low for isekai. So yeah. Yeah, that, that too. But the reason why I say like the show is like so popular is because like you know like the the person I always get like like a lot of my figures from. The bids for those for like the reincarnated of slime figures are they always go so high, and I'm like, why are these ones like the crazy like why are these the ones that people are bidding for? I don't know, but I'm basically just kind of good. I'm just going off of that mainly. Yeah. But the only other thing is like I I enjoy um I like I like city building anime so hopefully there's more of the village they do add more to the yeah. village that's that's what that's what I'm more looking forward to so. Yeah, I think that's kind of like a big part of it that might be just kind of like, again, like with Log Horizon, like with the world building and how a lot of it was kind of focused. They had some fights here and there, but they also did like a lot of the kind of like the level up sense and like, uh, was it like the, the the blacksmiths, like just like leveling up the buildings and how this guy basically just lo- like levels up like an entire, like, like everybody when it's when it sounds like it's supposed to be something uh, rare or more rare, I guess. But then this mm-hmm. guy just he'll give names to like everybody. Which, um, and then he has to what rest like a week, or he basically falls into a coma or whatever it is to basically gain his energy back. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know no. where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like I feel like it's really not that special, but they do have a fairly unique cast, and maybe that's why people like it so much. It's just because of the like the vast variety of cast that they have. It has a nice wife. I, I, I can, I can agree with that because like the character designs of like all like the different types of characters and like mm-hmm. the races of them and stuff and how like they change when they level or get a name is actually yeah. really cool like i was I, like yeah, dude, first first big dude that you meet when you enter this world a giant ass dragon, oh, the I dragon. Was like, oh, oh he was, fuck he was yeah, cool dude i'm down i mess with this show and then you get like a badass wolf character like these mm-hmm. dragon people these demon people these orcs these ogres these i do i, I do like, like the onis too <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. the onions. The onions are nice. For sure. So yeah, yeah I mean, like I said, there's just a lot to work with. So I, I think I can see why people can, you know, claim it as one of their favorites or why there's so much hype behind it. But yeah, no, I do. I do kind of feel like it, it is a little overrated for what it is. But I mean, it's not a bad show at all. No. So. Oh no, no. I'm just. I just. It was more like the whole thing. We're where, just like just like yeah. surprised at the popularity, seeing, seeing yeah. that like because we we think yeah. it doesn't really yeah. do that much different or special. Mm-hmm. But we're still we're excited to watch this, and then yeah. I forget when this aired, so it'll come. I think it'll air it by. I don't remember if it's this week or next week, but we'll we'll, we'll get to it when it comes. <laughs> it says January twelfth. Twelfth. Okay, so that's next week. Yeah. Next week, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Oh, these are t- the Tuesday show, I think. So. Okay. Hmm, okay. So that's the slime show, and then uh, next one is rom com Hori Mia. I don't know if we're gonna watch this or not. Like this seems to be like, like, one of the popular rom coms. I have to look that up. It's like where um, was it? It's like so. It's it's this girl that everyone thinks is popular, but she's really more like more like, more quiet and shy. And then it's like this guy who who thinks that he's like a quiet guy, and he's actually like, more like, a delinquent. And I think he has like a tat. I don't think he's a tattoo, but but everyone think he, he's actually he, he he's more of like yeah, a delinquent. And they meet, and so I just see this manga everywhere. So I don't know what to think about the anime. Yeah, yeah I, that, I don't know anything about the <laughs> anime. I didn't even bother looking. I just know that there's a really strong following for the show, and I, I was already sent just from like the style and everything about it, how it's packaged. I was I was set and ready to go. I, yeah, yeah, I see. I see like like the manga being being constantly translated, and I, I see like the cover a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I'll watch the first episode, see see what I think. Maybe I'll do the three episode rule and see if I enjoy. It. I I just have this just based off like the summary. Like I, it doesn't appeal to me right away but maybe i'm just missing something Mm-mm. in the first episode hmm. yeah i wonder if they kept the summary like really vague for any particular reason because people who have read the manga too were saying oh yeah like don't judge this off of the description there's so much more to it than that like i wonder if there's like a reason that they're not sharing stuff so yeah, yeah that's it for horror horror mia i can never say that properly but um next one i think it's what me uh it's this bottom tier um tomozaki i think me strain and Koo probably watch it I fr- it's like which which one? Bottom tier Tomozaki. I think it's like how um it's like this pro gamer. He so he's really good at oh, games, yeah, but one. he has like no social skills. And then I think he meets this girl that like that tries to help him out or whatever. I I I barely read the summary, but it sounds whatever. It sounds whatever. But I think you said uh, Tomozaki one. Bottom tier Tomozaki. Yeah, I don't know the Japanese title, but okay. Yeah, it seems like it's one of those animes that uh, pro gamers with no social skills is going to look at for tips. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm sure so, it's going to be a big hit in Japan, but <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll, if it's we'll if it's a rom com, I think I think we would enjoy it to see how it goes. I don't. I think I I feel that's like the the mood it's going for. It sounds like it's going to be rom com or comedy. Mm. So huh. So I'm I'm keeping an eye on that just because I think us three would enjoy it. I passed the yeah. I didn't see this one. Cause um, I I, th- I think the light novel was like popular in Japan, so we'll see. I just I hope it doesn't turn out to be another anime like uh, Rent a Girlfriend, cause that's gonna trigger you... me. <laughs> you know the sh- shitty main character. Yeah. Hopefully. I swear. Dude. Oh, Ho- God. Hopefully. I don't think it'll be as bad. We set the bar really low with the Rent a Girlfriend, so. I'll see with this show, but uh, it, yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm, in danger of an early drop. I'm I'm <laughs> waiting to see. So yeah, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Next one. Oh, uh, Mush, Mushoku Tensei, which I guess Tizzle says is the best isekai of all time. That's funny. Yeah. So coming from this man, he oh hypes God. this show up so hard. He says it is literally going to be the best Isekai of all time. I don't know about that. Of oh all time. Granted, I looked at like the, the teasers and PVs and stuff. The animation looks pretty fucking good. The animation looks really nice. Oh, does it? I didn't, look, oh, I didn't look at anything. So, Dude, if I, you watch the trailer, David, like, it looks I'm so not going to look at the trailer. Like, kind of different level. All right, fine. Fuck you. Just wait till the first episode comes out. What I do know about the show is that it's like it's the it's the the grandfather of all isekais because this is the one that started. This is the one that like that the guy he wrote on 
on he, he wrote the web novel and became really popular and because of this web novel this is the web novel that basically made re, like getting killed and then getting reincarnated in a, in a fancy world like he's a guy he, like this guy made it popular because of this this uh this i guess what he wrote for the, the web novel i'll give respects to this man and so so now i understand why he gives it so much praise so but the, the, it's literally like the og it's the og but the, what i'm worried about is that like i because like so many other isekais came as an anime afterward and it, it took forever for this one i'm worried that like when i look at it it's just gonna be more of the same like tropes and other things that we complain about in isekais even though it's the one that but started it but it's the first like this but like a lot of people a lot of people don't a lot of people don't know that it's gonna be the first so there's gonna be like a lot of complaints about how like it's just another isekai. That's why you ignore all those comments and you tell them you're dumb. <laughs> this was the original. I mean, it's hard. It's we hard. Just, it's just, hard to know all this stuff. So I don't blame people. They don't, and they just see it as just another, just another isekai. So that's what. That's why I'm keeping my eye on this. Just I'm because I'm curious too about how did this all start. That's right. If I if I enjoy it, that, that's all that matters. Also, care. like the original one, it's really long, so I I don't know like if this is gonna keep going or like so, it's just gonna be a one what season. Saying is we're not gonna know the end. <laughs> I don't think so. It's it's really long. Dude, it, with the animation like they showed in the trailer, there's no way they're gonna have this like a long running show. It's gonna be like it'll be short. Dude, I bro, they already announced the second season. Did oh, they? Really? The show? Yeah. Well, what? I mean, on granted, on my anime list, they do have the second season up there as a sequel. So. Okay, so maybe it might be just 12 each then? We'll I see. don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but yeah. Dude, just just to prove this man right for once in his life, I really want this show to succeed and be <laughs> super fucking good. So we can actually say, hey man, remember Mush Mushiko Tensei? Yeah, you were right, dude, compared to all the other shit he's recommended. Jeez, way to hate on the man. <laughs> Can't ch but, just... Uh, judging from animation by itself, I think I feel like it's gonna be very, very, you know, flashy, and it it intrigues my simple brain. So, just yeah. I'm just think saying like, story wise and writing and just all the tropes we've seen in Isekai is like that, that's what I'm worried about. So that's I'm keeping my eye on this show. So I, I don't know who else is gonna watch it, but I'll probably I'll 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 watch it. I think we're all trying. I think we're all gonna check. Well, we're all probably gonna check it out. Yeah. Oh, are you? Or, okay. Taylor, I, don't know about, I don't know about you, Taylor, but. I'm pretty sure Justin will be watching it. I thought about I... this the same way. I, I thought about this the same way as I think about horror films, like how people always talk about the original horror films and how, oh, you know, this is older and you've seen these tropes, but this is where it started and it was really groundbreaking for its time. I've just heard that a lot for horror films in particular. And I compared that to this, you know, hearing this was like the original and I was like, mm, I don't really like those older horror films because we have the newer, better things now. And mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really hold up after so long. So I, I finally, there, because there's so many shows, I passed on this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I didn't know if you guys were getting burned on Isekai, so I don't know if you wanted to watch this one or not. Never. Never. Oh, God. Never. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so, uh, well, good for you, because no, there's, well, there's so well, many Isekai this season already. Yeah. yeah but yeah, like no, what, no, what Taylor no, was no. saying, too, I kind of get that. Like, because I love watching horror uh, shows as well. And then when you think about like how many times that's been said, it kind of just burns you out and just yeah. makes you realize that eh, it's probably not going to be that great. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, it was great at the time. I'm not negating that. It's just that, like, to a brand new viewer, it's just not going to really have that same effect. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Justin will watch it. Sasha's not going to touch this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's... Okay, so that's... Uh, that's... That's uh, I guess second, oh, that was actually the second isekai we said actually so yeah. so that's the granddaddy of isekais. Um, next one is uh, the hidden dungeon only I can enter. I actually don't remember if this is isekai or just fantasy. I, I, this is this is how bad it is. I can't tell which is which now. Like, uh, so from what I've seen, it's mainly fantasy and okay. a lot of fan service. Okay. Wait, is this um, the, the hidden dungeon only I can enter? Yes. Yeah, it's very etchy. It sounds very, very etchy. Very so etchy. I'm assuming like you two are no, watching it. Yeah. It, it, it is previews. very etchy. Uh, okay. Definitely. <laughs> I don't think I we can talk previews. about it on this show. Okay. But uh, yeah, oh, it's, it's it's one of those shows where it's not gonna be worth talking about. Really. Yeah, it's it, really okay. Be, it'll be my guilty, it'll be my guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll just leave with that then. Yes, yes, <clears throat> yes. Um, what else? Oh, so the next isekai. I know this one's isekai. This is uh, uh I'm a spider. So what? Because I actually read a little bit of the web novel. So it's just, it's just basically like this. 
Uh, like this girl gets Isekai, but she turns into a spider, and it's kind of like Full Fury, where she just eats everything and gains like the skills, and she comes OP that way. So it's more, it's more like uh, like it, like I don't know, like not comedy, but it's more lighthearted. Like it's just like her being a spider and just like like eating everything, and like I think she gets like an army later or something. So it's more lighthearted. Yeah. I said I liked Isekais, but I can only watch one creature Isekai. Uh, <laughs> okay. <season> or year. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, Spider. Okay. So, uh, so I might just watch this because I read a little bit of the web novel earlier. So. But, oh, but it's just like, it's just, just another generic Isekai. So. Not generic. Oh, I mean, it's not like generic, but like, it's just. I don't know. It's just another Isekai. <laughs> it's generic. <laughs> just so, Spider. Just because no, she's. Brian. Brian, you should check out. Uh, sorry, going back to the Hidden Dungeon one. Brian, I, I, I would, I would, I would like if you would to check out the show. What show? Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll send it to you after, after the podcast. Word. Anyway, back to Spider. Okay, so that's not nice, Isekai. Oh, this is for Stren. Uh, Euro Camp season two. Yeah. yeah. And me. Oh, and I'm Taylor. I'm watching that too. And Taylor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's such a good. Like this show is more of like there's not many sh- like anime shows I actually watch like at night. But like uh, this one is one of the ones where it's just really relaxing. Like just watching mm-hmm. it before going to bed will just kind of put you in the mood to basically, mm-hmm. all right, I'm ready for bed, and then just knock it. Like, it really it's does. Very relaxing. It's, it's it feels like you're cool. camping, like with the sound, with the sound that they use. It is really like just they got the atmosphere. It's it's almost like watching ASMR if it was like an anime. Yeah. Like it's just so relaxing. No, no, like, and, they want, and it makes me want to camp. Yeah. No, yeah. I heard, I heard, <laughs> oh, I've heard, I've heard that. Winter, I've heard that a lot. Winter. Yeah. No, I see a lot of praise for the show. I think this is like the because I don't usually watch Slice of Life, but I think this is be on the the one I watch because I see so much praise for the show and like I mean, I'm really, yeah. I'm really interested in David. The, the you camping. and I aren't fans of you and I aren't fans of Slice of Life normally, and I would recommend this to you. I think you'd yeah. like it. I I feel like I would, I'm really interested in this show. Like I I think like I would enjoy the camping aspect. So. Dude, you just have to listen. Just listen to the ending of the first season, and that that basically is like the mood of the show. There's also like a theme no. or like a sound, like a noise, that, or not a noise, but a song that they use like in the first season as well. But I have it on my like you know as a soundtrack. God, it's so. It's, no, no, it's, I it's, I totally get it. So like good. I see so much praise, and like I totally get the praise. So maybe I should just. I don't know if we have time to like to watch before this, it airs, but I I get the praise. So I, it, I, it, is, it is on my list. Yeah, for people who have issues sleeping, like this would definitely like, put you to sleep. David, you fall asleep too fast. You'd well, get I don't want to fall asleep watching anime because then I waste time and have to rewatch the, the anime. Waste time? God, okay, you don't even know yet. No, because right, if, if, if I fall asleep, then I have to rewatch the episode. Yeah, you'd fall asleep. Don't yeah. do it. But yeah, then so I, you'd so I waste fall, time. You'd, you'd watch it. But yeah, but you're, you're going to watch it, take a nap anyway during the day and wake up three hours later anyway. Yeah. You assume a lot. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. All right. So a lot, of, a lot of excitement. Oh, actually, was there was there a point for it that was that thing that happened with your camp, like your the your room camp, whatever? Was that important? Or was that just like just filler? The OVA thing. It was. Filler. Was just OVA. Yeah, was. Okay. I mean, it, yeah, I think like each episode was like two minutes long. Oh, okay. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know what was going on with that. I watched them all. I didn't know what was going on with that. So that's that's so that's zero camp, and then, um, uh, and then uh, yeah. also for you, Stred, Nanam Bure season three. Yes. Because the manga <laughs> and maybe oh, me too. Oh, you're okay, because the manga ended in Japan, so I don't know what what they're gonna do with the anime. They finish it, but I don't know how you can finish a slice oh, of life, actually. So yeah, I don't know. It, I really don't know. And, and this, again, this, and this is like the opposite stupid. of this is like the opposite of Euro Camp because this is like in the countryside. Isn't it during the summer usually? Yep, countryside in the boonies, like in the middle of nowhere. Except like, I think the picture it looks like it's gonna be kind of colder months, cooler months at least. Okay. For this one, I, uh, so we'll see. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's all been really good. It's another one of those shows that you can watch before you go to bed, and it'll just kind of, it'll it, it's very soothing, calming, and then it'll just it'll just oh, wake I, you up. Oh, I forgot to mention too, because uh, Euro Camp, they 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 camp near like one this lake near like Mount Fuji. Um, but I think Nan Buri, it's like I think it's like like in like North Saitama, so like like an hour north of Tokyo, so like Saitama and Gifu area, so it's the north, it's like central Tokyo area. So that's like the that's like the that's like the area for that that's based off of, but just more slice of life, and so. Um, I guess we don't have, yeah I don't even we don't have much to say about those two, but. Uh, and then the next one is also another one of Stride's shows, Skate. I have no idea what the show besides that. It's by um, Bones, so. I would say it's more Taylor's, possibly Koo's show. 
Okay. Yes, that's true. Because I, ha I have told you about that show a couple times, too, sir. Okay. <laughs> and you so didn't you guys know it show. existed. Yeah, I watched the trailer of it, though. I was like, damn, this actually looks good. I'll give it a shot. Brian, you should check it out, too. Skate. SK8. I think it's SK... No, it's actually... It's like, like SK Infinity, Infinity people, but, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it's Skate. But just, yeah. If you look it up on the anime list, it's kind of like further down, but it's done by Bones, right? Yes. Yep. The animation, yeah. I, I, see, looks, I feel like, like, like that's like the only like hype behind it, just because it's made by Bones. I don't really... Uh, I think also one of the main characters is, is, is Hanei Natsuki. That's kind of hyped too, right? There's, there's just a lot of pretty boys with very good looking animation. So. <laughs> Wait, is this a skating anime? What the fuck? It is a skating anime. And the animation looks intense. Like, it looks, the animation it looks, looks awesome. good, but bro, I don't give a shit about skateboarding. I don't, man. <laughs> well, I, but this is your opportunity to learn and, and get excited. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, most of you, I, most of you didn't care about skateboarding. I want like at least half the characters in the show to like legit Dude. trip and fall off their skateboard and like break their spine or something. Dude, that might happen. Like, like before, I don't. And then like they have to overcome it somehow. Maybe that, maybe that's why they're making the the maybe like, the guys look so pretty because they just slowly get worn down from skating. They show you they, they show you what happens. No, no, they got they got to show off their the tricks. Yes, and then with with the bones animation. It's a modern yeah, day yeah. air gear. I don't know about that, Tizzle. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna still watch it. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. I, I, I actually think I'll enjoy this show. Like, hmm. it, it looks awesome, and you know, dudes look great. It, it'll, it'll be, it'll be good for the, you know. I don't know. Listen, just... man, I got enough shows to watch. I don't think I got time for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you could, you could uh, check it out with Julia. I'm sure she would. She may actually like it too. We're That's in the nice. middle of a uh, binging, you know. Uh, Which one? Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. So. Oh my god. Alright, we'll talk Let's about that later. Wait forever. Alright. By we, I mean, yeah, I can talk to you guys later. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to bed. <laughs> Alright, so. So there, we've got Skate, and then, um, for Koo at least, we got Beastar Season 2. Oh, <laughs> man, you guys are missing out. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That would be a Taylor show, too. I don't know, it's just like. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I'm watching, like, all of them. <laughs> I've not watched any, like, Netflix shows. That's the thing. Because like, I keep telling myself, I'll wait till it all comes out, and then when it does, right. I never watch it. Like,. If anything, like Great Pretenders on my top, like my top list for uh, Netflix shows. So, mm. I mean, yeah. if you can go get past the whole animal thing and CGI thing, it's actually not that bad. Well, it's not that. It's just like it's just that like, I haven't watched any Netflix shows. It's a thing. So, oh, yeah, CGI is very tough for me. I can't do it. Mm. I thought you watched Violet Evergarden. Is that Netflix? To David, yeah, yeah that's Netflix. Oh, I guess I watch it weekly then with with Fred or something. Back in the day, whatever, or I don't know. Yep. I think we watch hey, it weekly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was weekly. We yeah. Have, we watch it weekly. Okay, we so I, was, I guess that's the only Netflix show I watched then. Yeah, far ever going. But then, yeah, my next on my list is Great Pretender. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's still on my. I I started that one, but I have yet to finish. It's still on my list. It was good from what I saw. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, so that's so we have at least coup for B stars, and then oh, okay. um. So we do have cells at work season two and cells at work black, but I don't know what you gotta talk about it because like nothing really happens There's in the really show. Nothing. I'm I'm in for the educational values, but everyone else, I don't know, like. <laughs> that's me. It's I mean I actually I, it's a good show. Yeah. Uh, it's I just don't think it's worth really talking. Probably about not talking about really yeah. Not. Yeah, there's really no specific story. It's just some. It's basically they're living in some guy that basically <laughs> just destroys his body. Like it seems like every day, or every other week, and then basically just shows like what what your body has to deal with. It's just basically like this poor like the, or this this fool that they have to actually work like work for in a sense is yeah. basically just destroying them. Even though I think cells at work black sounds way worse because it sounds like this dude does like everything. It's the whole point. The whole point is like it's like the worst like body you can like be in because he does like. Drinking, smoking, all like the bad shit. So, oh man, those poor cells. That's what they're putting them through. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway. It, it, also, honestly, I don't even think. Oh, uh, I was gonna say Tizzle. Like we, we did do say we're, we did we did a part about Mushoku Tensei. I'm gonna watch it at least, and I think the rest of us are gonna watch it. But <laughs> we're we're gonna like I'm just saying that like um, like. I'm worried because because it's the original. There's gonna be a lot of the annoying isekai tropes in there. So, we already mentioned that before. But we we understand though that it was actually the first. So we will get past that. It's the other people who don't know. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. 
I know they create the tropes to Zola, but that doesn't like it's hard to to separate that when we're watching as an anime way later. So yeah, it'll be fine for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then that's like that's like so that's like most of the shows I have for uh for interview. There's this one show I saw. Uh, was it's a Kai Bioi Ramune like that? I I think maybe Ku me and Ku would be interested in watching. Where um because I saw the tag was it was like psychological shonen and romance where. Uh, man, I wish I had this up, but it's like, where it's like the main. I need I need to look this up real quick. Damn it. Yeah, that one actually sounds good. What is it? I don't remember seeing anything like that. Where it's like, say, well, okay, the main guy's the main character's name is like Romney or something weird like that. But like, um, something about like in people he's looking at people's hearts. I need to quickly look this up. Uh, in the meantime, Taylor, any other shows? Oh yeah, I was just gonna look at that. Let's see. Oh, uh, Kimono Jihen, which I have no idea what that is. that's the one. I, I, I'm I'm gonna go to that too really quick, but I've got it <laughs> up already. But yeah, no, it's it's also a supernatural one. Hmm. Um, it sounds like like there's animal bodies rotting away in single nights in remote mountain villages, and uh -huh. a detective. And a detective who specializes in the occult is called in to investigate. I haven't really looked into it any more than that. I just thought the art looked really great. I liked the trailer from what I saw. I saw a couple of people online saying that it reminds them of like a cross between Bleach and Hunter x Hunter. Whoa. I haven't seen either of those shows, so that meant nothing to me. But just for anybody else who might be interested in knowing that, um, I'm, I'm curious about like what what like the this reviews. This one is Kimono Jihen. Yeah, I'm curious about like whether like what Reddit says in the first episode and what like. I guess like Amy's network mm -hmm. says. I'm curious what the reviews are gonna be like for the first couple episodes. So, yeah, like, it, sounds, it sounds interesting. So we'll see. It's uh, Studio Ajado. Oh. So I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't uh, know that one either. I've never heard of it. So, anyways, uh, so um, Kai Bioi Ramune. So basically, there's a doctor and apprentice. Um, there's like a, like a, some sort of love sickness affecting people, and they have to like I guess treat the the love sickness. What is this? Uh. Yeah, it's, it's just says there's a mystery. Yeah, there's a mystery disease, and just so, something strange enters their their, mi their minds, and and then basically the doctor Ramune, he he's able to quickly like uncover the root cause of the the the, the uh, Ramune, um, the the no the the mysterious sickness. So so I saw the I saw the description. It sounds interesting. We'll see what it is actually about. So. Yeah, that sounds way more interesting than what that uh, that trailer poster looks like. Yeah, the trailer poster. I didn't even like... click on it because of that poster. Yeah, yeah, because the trailer poster looked look really generic. But we'll see what happens yeah. with the with um with the show. So that's mm. that's all the shows. So I went through basically my list of what I thought we would all be watching. Yeah, and then Taylor mentioned um, Kimono Jihen. So there's any other show that anyone wants uh, to bring Wonder up? Wonder Egg Priority. Oh, okay. I don't have I, anything to say about I that, saw, but I know I saw friends, that. so we should talk about it too. I saw that. I didn't know. You, I didn't know you got to bring it up. But yeah, no, it's just something. I'm just as like literally, I'm watching it. I know nothing about it other than it's a Cloverworks anime only yeah, original, yeah. and it looks super cute, and it has eggs, really which weird. I love, so. Really weird that Cloverworks is making a slice of life like original <laughs> show. So I guess I'll have good um, animation, but like I don't know. I don't even know what to expect for slice of life. So. So that could be another one of those shows where we're just watching it like on our own time until if, if like depending on how it turns, like we, we'll see. Probably just mention mm -hmm. it, yeah, or something. Uh, but I think you. That's, that's all I have. All the shows, Brian. Is there any, any other shows you're watching that we haven't that uh we haven't mes mentioned yet? Um, or coup? Anything else? No, those are pretty much. It. Well, things that I would want to talk about. That's what I'm probably going to watch. But uh, there's a couple of those I'm going to look at first and then see how I feel about them. And then I'll see if we want to talk about them or not. Have yeah. you, I, 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 are you watching Quintessential Quintuplets? Yes. Okay. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so we had Tizzle in chat asking if any of us are watching it. I was like, I don't think any of us. I was like, but the best chance would probably be cool. <laughs> yeah, that's probably me. But I don't know if I want to talk about it, though. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, I was telling him I dropped the first season. I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was just because like, I was getting burned out. I, watched a I was watching a bunch of harms at that time, so I could have easily got burned out from it. Or mm. I also got burned out from Kirito because Kirito's voice is also the main guy in there. <laughs> and oh, oh my that guy was everywhere at the time when I first started really watching anime again. Um, 
but uh, uh so it's, it's I, really I, popular I, in japan i know that yeah. so i, I don't know yeah. if it was just because because i think it was a big part of it was animation just looked really uh generic to me and, and again like this is the time i, I was watching every harm possible yeah i mean uh, it wasn't uh the storyline wasn't like spectacular it was very cliched right uh guys guy is broke but he's very smart he needs to make money so he gets a tutoring job turns out it turns out to be the family of girls that he's like fond of apparently and there's five of them yeah and uh they have pink hair so if you're into pink hair chicks that that's it for you which is surprising why i didn't continue (laughs) right so but like i said it's, it's very like cliche uh nothing like original but i mean it's it's pleasing to the eyes to watch even though like you said animation isn't like like extraordinary or like top yeah. notch. So, right. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably watch it, but I don't think like story wise, there's not enough content for me to really bring it up or talk about. So I don't think I'm going to talk about it. Is this the second? Do we know? Is this the, like the second season to end it, or is it going to be kind of continuing after? It's, the season it's long. I think it's. I'm pretty sure there's a lot. There's the manga is like really long, or so I don't think okay. it's going to end it this season. So, yeah. All right. I think sure. the I think the manga ended recently, but I don't think there's enough content, or there's too much. I mean, there's too much content to do to end it in the second season so yeah. i just remember it, it, um, it ran for a while yeah okay uh brian real quick was there any other shows you're watching that we haven't mentioned yet uh i don't think so for sure Nothing? all yeah. ones i probably will watch yeah okay. so but and also the, the thing is like like i still don't i don't like look up too many shows before the winter she, before each season starts so i usually just wait and see when it airs so the first like two weeks is basically just me like figuring out why i want to watch anyways for me, it's basically like I look through the list, grab like the, the main ones that we know, then I'll, I'll check, you know, go through a few, check out, check them out, uh, and usually it ends up being like your know, Crunchyroll tweets out something, I watch it, it looks hilarious or something like that, and I pick it up. Uh, so we'll see. That hasn't really happened like recently though, because I've been pretty good with just grabbing them at the beginning of the season. So we'll see. Hmm. But I have one other show that I'm actually going to be continuing again, is a Black Clover because they're actually maybe going back <laughs> into canon. What? So I'll be going Wait, back. Wait, uh, hold on. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. How long were they in Philly for? 30-something episodes, I think. Quite you said 31 months? Episodes. 30, no, 30-something episodes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they're, they're I, I believe they're doing the same thing as Bleach, though, because, um, they, they, I think, I believe they caught up to the manga, and then, because this is the first time they ever really hit filler, because they were doing really well with avoiding that. Uh, I think they just caught up to the main to the main source so fast that they had to go into like a filler arc. Yeah, that's believe, like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I believe like going from here on out now, it's gonna be kind of like where they're gonna burn through the material, then they're gonna be filler arc, burn through material, filler arc. So for now, I'll be picking up the show again. I'm not gonna talk about it, but I'm picking it up again. Right. Yeah. Yes. I feel like that's it'd just be better if they just went on hiatus. It should, uh, but it, it should, but like, it, like, it, it's shown in like jump. How like uh, yeah, Dragon Ball is doing. I don't know if like they're gonna do that. I don't know if they're ever coming back though. Are they? Do it. No, 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 no. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what happened, but like over the course of like the last five years, like I got super into Dragon Ball more than I was when like when I was younger, and like I couldn't help myself. I had to like read the moral arc because it just finished. Okay. They're gonna come out with a show for it. <laughs> There's uh, no question about it. They're gonna come out with a show for it. Okay, I'll take right. it. I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it, but I, I just don't know. It's I been like so it's been long forever and... since, like, yeah, Super ended. Yeah. So right. Well, it, yeah, Super ended, forever... and then they had the movie. Okay, the movie guys. pretty much carried it. And then... Guys, Dragon Ball yeah. Z ended forever and ago. It's and not Dragon Ball Z. Ended... Okay, it's Dragon Ball Super. super. Get that shit correct. But but they still added to it forever after. You know. And honestly, like Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, whatever. It's one of those shows that's just fun to watch. I don't take it serious. It's just fun to watch. That's true. Like, when I was reading it, I was like, if I think any super hard about this, I'm going to hate it. So I just took it at face value of, like, yep. this is a Dragon Ball manga show, anime, or whatever. And I was like, I'm going to take it as it is mm-hmm. and then just be hyped for the hype parts and then not think super hard into it. So I was like, okay, this is really good. I, I think thought, a big part of it is also just nostalgia as well. I don't know. I just, True. I just, I, I can't really hate the show. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun to watch. I thought the, the manga was different than, than Super, or are they actually supposed okay, to? Okay, so, so the first part of Super, like, they had separate things, because, like, Toriyama gave, like, like, the animation studio and, like, the manga part of it, like, different, like, he gave them the same script, but they did their own thing with it, which was weird as fuck. Because if you, like, watch it and then read it, like, there's so many different parts where, like, the manga did it way better. 
But hmm. okay. for this part, the manga was first. So hoping that they sort of just follow that trail, you know? Okay. Just drifting onto their own shit. Hmm. All right. Uh, any other shows anyone want to mention? No, we there's so it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens in winter. So it should be exciting. Um, yeah. So next, the next podcast episode, we have a lot to talk about because a lot of these shows are gonna be airing already. So super excited. So we're gonna end the sh- we're gonna end it right there. So want to thank want to thank the audience for chatting tonight. Thanks, thanks Tizzle. Glad to have you in chat as always. We'll make sure I'll make sure I'll watch Mushoku Tensei just for you. All right, how about that? <laughs> we're all we're basically all watching this I, show. D- okay, we have to prove this man correct uh, in his uh, in his claims. I don't doubt that. I'm just saying I'll I'll give him I'll, I'll at least like watch it. God, you you have shaky faith, sir. I want to thank the panel we for joining me today. Be. Thanks, thanks, Stren. Even you. No thank problem. you for joining me today. Yeah, no Even you. Wow. Yes. I'll be here for the Attack on Titans uh, special too. Yes. I'll be. Uh, I'll have much input, but <laughs> much input. All right, and that's gonna be it for us for today. So we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.